Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So in this week's video guys, I'm going to bring you in to a dilemma that I am currently experiencing right now at the moment in relation to me trying to basically convert my spare bedroom into a walk-in closet slash wardrobe. So I'm in the process of trying to find the right storage solutions for my walk-in closet slash uh, wardrobe and if you know me you know that I do not make decisions easily it takes a lot of consideration because I do care about buying furniture pieces that I'm not going to get sick of in six months time and also making sure that I'm investing my budgets wisely on things that are well made and are going to stand the test of time so I have been shortlisting and adding and editing stuff on my Pinterest board for a dresser slash chest of drawers for absolutely ages and every single time I think I've found the one something else comes along and makes me reconsider the one that I was intending to buy so what I want to do is basically show you the shortlist of options in play and share with you where my preference lies a decision has not been made but I really really want to make a decision because I need to get that room organized guys I really want to have a permanent home for my clothes and get to a point where I really get to have the boutique vibe walk-in wardrobe slash closet that I'm basically trying to create so let's have a look at the options that I'm currently considering right now. So I was originally gonna show you the options that I currently have in play on my Pinterest board, but I think it might actually be easier to show you in PowerPoint, so let's do it. So, so these, or this chest of drawers basically has been on my Pinterest board the longest and has been the one that I really thought I was gonna go for. It comes in three different types of wood. It comes in oak or natural oak. It also comes in walnut and then it also comes in this black lacquered version that you can see on the right hand side here. So I leaned really, really closely to the black and white one because it goes so well with my interiors and my decor. I love the slim lines. I love the fact that it's on legs. Furniture on legs tends to make the space that it is placed in feel a lot more open and airy. And the room that I'm converting into a walk-in um, closet is not that big and therefore I do not want it to feel too congested in that space. So I like the fact that this option really had these beautiful legs that the chest of drawers is poised on. I should also mention that I am planning to buy two chests of drawers, guys. So I'm not just trying to buy one, I'm trying to buy two because a, I need the storage space, and B, I also have the space in the walk-in wardrobe to basically fit two chests of drawers. So again, these are the three options in terms of wood, but I do wanna go for the black and white option, or I am considering going for the black and white option. This is definitely an expensive chest of drawers, guys. So it is, I think, ranges between two and a half thousand to three and a half thousand depending on which wood you go for so this is why i really want to make sure that i'm making the right decision what i love about it is these simple sleek lines it's really well made great quality and i really like the design of it guys the fact that you have these um longer drawers at the bottom and then you have a little cupboard and then two smaller drawers um, at the top so this would be a great way to compartmentalize your items so you could put your lingerie in the smaller drawers you could put your hair products in the little cupboard you could put your jeans um, your trousers so i love the way that it um, really helps you think about how you can again organize and compartmentalize your items quite nicely so this guys is option one let me know what you think let's go on to look at option two so the second option guys is this one here by a company called urkel they are a british company that make really really great quality furniture which is amazing similar to the previous option i like the fact that this option here has lots of different styles of drawers you can imagine where you would put your clothes you can also imagine where you would put your jewelry um and yeah for me that's really really helpful in you know thinking about where and how you're going to organize all the things that go into your closet but the main reason why i don't think i'm going to go for this option even though i almost did is because i don't like the shade of wood that it comes in so i do love oak this is not oak the color of this is much more of an ashy color or an ash wood color and to make sure that i was you know not being unfair i actually ordered some samples luckily urkel do allow you to order samples of their different woods 
and this is basically the color of the wood guys and i'm going to do a cutaway if it's not clear on camera here but basically the wood color of this particular chest of drawers just does not complement my oak flooring at all and for that reason it is definitely an option that i'm pretty sure i'm not going to go for so this is the ash color of the drawers and my wood flooring is you can see it behind me guys anyway so i don't even need to show you i, I just don't think it, it complements it at all urkel do also do furniture in another type of wood color which i will show you in a second because it's my third option so i'm not going to go for this option purely because i don't think the color of the wood complements my wood flooring or complements my interiors so option three is also from urkel and this particular chest of drawers stood out to me because i love the slimline silhouette i love the legs of this uh, particular chest of drawers i also love the fact that it comes with lots and lots of storage space it has i think seven drawers in total and again you can imagine where your lingerie will go where other items of clothes are going to go and it just has a a lot of storage space which i absolutely love what I didn't love about this particular option is the fact that it looks a little bit too traditional for my liking. It is definitely got a modern um, aesthetic to it because of the legs, but it also does feel quite traditional. And I think the handles for me is what makes it feel very, very traditional. And as a result of that, I considered customizing the handles and buying some beautiful brass handles from Armark Martin to really, I think, balance out that traditional aspect of the chest of drawers. So this one would need a little bit more um, customizing to get the aesthetic that I would love to get. And I also ordered a sample from Urkel of what the wood looks like, which I will share with you guys also. And it is uh, an oak uh, in terms of wood. It doesn't offend my oak flooring but there's something about it that just doesn't feel quite right i feel like it feels a little bit too traditional um so if i compare it to the other wood sample you can see what i meant by the fact that the um previous option is just way 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 too washed out but again whilst this is a much nicer oak color instinctively and just aesthetically i don't think it's going to work and the fact that i have to customize it means that it's just a little bit more effort than I would want because it's not a cheap chest of drawers. It's definitely not as expensive as the previous options, but it is definitely not a cheap chest of drawers either. And then option four, guys, is my absolute favorite. I, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is, this is, this is definitely what I want to go for. So this is um, also manufactured by a British company that has affiliations with Terence Conran. I recently did a video where I took you guys through some of the key furniture stores in Kings Road. The Conran shop was one of those stores and the Conran shop was started by Terence Conran, as is this company uh, that makes this chest of drawers. So it is obviously um, a beautiful piece that comes in oak, but also comes in walnut. I absolutely love the marble top that it comes with so that means that if you do spill stuff it's easy to clean and i really really i think this chest of drawers is what really made me want a marble top but also because aesthetically marble just looks amazing so this really was the option that i was going to go for and this is the most expensive option um and when i had actually decided to go for this option the price of it went up by two and a half thousand pounds guys so it was already really, really, really expensive. It went up literally, I felt overnight by two and a half thousand pounds. So when I had actually decided to go for this one, I went onto the website and the price, I repeat, had increased by two and a half thousand pounds. So I don't know if I can justify paying the price that this particular dresser commands. It is absolutely a piece that will stand the test of time aesthetically. It is. I think for me, the definition of aesthetically sustainable, um, because I don't think it's um, something that you would get bored of. It's some, something that you could definitely sell on or pass down. But the price point, guys, is eye watering. So it's really given me um, pause. Um, it's really given me pause, basically. 
And then this option here, I'm not going to go for. I just put it on purely because I love the brass inlay detailing. This option is from Lux Deco, um, who obviously feature lots and lots of high-end furniture brands. It's just, I think, I, I think my preference would be to, to go for a less dramatic wood. Um, and these two woods do feel very, very dramatic. And I do have quite a small room that I'm trying to convert and therefore I do want it to maintain that kind of light, bright, airy feeling. So these options, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go for. They are beautiful, by the way, but I'm not going to go for these options here. And the next option is from a furniture brand that I've never really shopped on before. And it is Loaf, who do sofas and lots of other furniture pieces. So when I came across this option in oak and with a marble top, I thought, oh, this is definitely worth considering. The only thing about this option that I don't particularly like is the, the way the drawers are designed, that kind of um, sticky out bit that you can see on the left image here. I just don't like the way that looks aesthetically. There's something about the aesthetics of this drawer that makes it feel just not quite right. Um, I think I'm much more into drawers that are flush with the frame, whereas the drawers for this particular option stick out, which I really don't like the look of aesthetically. I love the fact that it's poised on legs. I love the fact that it's got marble, a marble top, but I just don't love the way the drawers basically stick out of the frame. So that's really what's given me a lot of pause. The next option is very, very different. And I did consider it but I'm not gonna go for it, but I'll show you it anyway. And it is basically this military style um, chest of drawers that I came across, again, very recently. So the last two are the most recent options that I have added to my board. Um, and I just like the brass detailing. However, I think it's a little bit too dramatic uh, for the space that I am basically um, going to work with. This company also do make things bespoke so i thought if i'm spending this much money why not go bespoke so i have reached out to a couple of companies who make furniture bespoke one of them has not got back to me so i probably won't go with that company just because they didn't get back to me and this company did get back to me but there is a 22 week lead time which just feels a little bit excessive um so i'm probably not going to go for the bespoke option with this company so here is my dilemma guys is which option should i go for let me know what your thoughts are which option would you go for i haven't made a decision again my favorite is option four but the price point of option four i can't even say in words because it's so so it's basically the price of a second hand car <laughs> no word of a lie it is really really expensive um beautifully made elite craftsmanship i think of all the chest of drawers on here the quality of this one is like on you know it's unparalleled um to be fair urkel do great quality as well so that's really a bit that's kind of really important to mention so these two great quality this one extortionate but all really expensive this one requires a lot more um customization this one the wood is just not going to complement my interiors or my flooring this one don't love the side profile love the front profile the front profile of this is amazing the other thing that makes me pause on this option is that i feel that i won't love this forever or for a really long time i feel like i may possibly get bored of this style in two years time which is another reason why it's making me really pause on whether this is the option to go for and again it's a very very expensive chest of drawers and i'm buying two of them so that's why I'm being kind of extra considered because I'm not just buying one, I'm buying two um, of, of, of the drawers. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys. That is my current dilemma. Let me know which option you would go for. If there are any others out there that you found that you think I would like, let me know. I'm always open to hearing your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I will keep you updated and informed on what I end up actually deciding. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.